Welcome everybody to another day in beautiful Kochi. In Kerala, India. That's too many commas. Sorry, the title of this video will be another day in uh, whatever the heck the E city is. Erna, Kolum, Kochi, Kerala, India, South Asia, Asia. Eastern Hemisphere. Eastern Hemisphere. Northern Hemisphere. Globe, Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Galaxy. Super Cluster, whatever. Uh, uh, yeah, we're in Kochi and uh, it's a beautiful hot day today and we're gonna go get some good old Kerala breakfast. We got some breakfast in one of our recent videos, but that was just some dosa. Now we're gonna try and get some more different local cuisine. Hopefully it's good. We're gonna be heading downstairs and walking right, right there, I think. Why would we go down the stairs? We can just jump. Whoa. It's a little part of the hotel that uh, we didn't show you guys. There's like a whole upstairs area. It's pretty nice. $30 a night, and it's like a really nice hotel. Oh, wait. Oh, this is the... Ah, yeah, okay. Staff elevator. <laughs> we would have ended up in the kitchen, and we would have been like, oh. But yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is a four-star hotel, basically, so. Pretty solid for a very affordable price. Thirty-three dollars, not too shabby. And we didn't even get this room. Oh, there's couches. Ever since we got here and we discovered the food of puta, putu, no, not puta, putu, that we uh, actually saw it in the airport and we didn't get it. It's been very intriguing. It looks like it's like a tube of rice that you eat with uh, some sort of curry. It's not the easiest road to walk on. So the goal here is to try some putu and to try some a palm. A palm? A pom pom? Like if you tried to eat that, it might taste pretty good. It looks like it would taste good. It's bright and colorful. Sweet? Fruity? It's gotta be. Alright, I think it's this place. The Vondi Stories, I believe. I believe this is the picture. Yeah, this looks like it. Hi. Uh for two? Two? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Platform, wow. It's like a train station. Oh. I, uh, for two? There's... Thank you. Uh, is there a menu? Uh, okay. Perfect. Thank you. Alu paratha with curry. These items for our breakfast because it, this is a lunch thing. Uh, oh. We will follow it for uh, Kerala traditional meals. Uh, okay. And uh, Kerala traditional biryani. Uh, and curry meat for each other. Okay. Special to go to Kerala fish for each other. Okay. So no more breakfast right now? Or? Okay. So far, uh, you come from Kerala and must try for uh, curry meat for each other. Uh -huh. Okay, where is that on the menu? Uh, this menu is not ordered for the alimentary, I would say. Okay, okay sure. Oh. Is it a fish then? Yeah, fish. Okay. This is good stuff. Mm -hmm. Good? Yeah. Do you want to try that? Yeah, which, uh, how much yeah. is it? And uh, biryani. Yeah, sure. How much is it for that one? Uh, 100. Okay. Okay. Kerala means one. And yeah. You eat it with the biryani then? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure, that works. Okay. Right. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. That was a challenge. Well, we got some food. Some did, Kerala food. Did you say what was the price of the biryani and everything? No. It's weird that's not on the menu. Yeah. Wow. Don't know exactly what it's called, but he said it was some Kerala specialty stuff. Showed us a picture of some fish. I don't know if we're getting the fish or not, but we ordered some stuff. Yeah, it was a little hard to hear him because he was talking really quiet. So we just kind of said yes because he said it was Kerala traditional. And uh, here we are. Uh, we have a like tally looking thing over on my side. And then that is the Kerala biryani over there. Seems to be different because it's just like white rice. And then it seems like, well, I'll mix it all together and stuff. And the, but then it also still comes with the bread. Is this the palm bread? It could be. But I'm not sure. Sometimes it looks, it kind of looks like this, but I've never seen it so like yellow. Usually in the pictures it looks white. 
so I don't know. This looks scrumptious. I, we weren't expecting this, and this is what we got. So let's try it. Whoa. Oh, look at that stuff. Whoa, it's so flaky. Sorry, the lighting isn't great in here, so it might be a little uh, off. That is a nice amount. Of, oh, there's stuff inside underneath. Oh. Is it fish biryani? Is that what it it's might be? About with the fish? It might be. Oh. It almost looks like beef. Or I guess it's probably just chicken. It looks beefy, like as it's, it, the way it strings apart. Ah, but it's white on the inside. Uh, All right, so we got some chicken, chicken biryani, I think. Kerala biryani, I don't know if this is how they do it here, but then I'll dice up some sauce over here on the side. Don't want to mix it in just yet. We got some nice dark brown chicken here, and then a nice red sauce. I'm sure very sweet, not spicy at all. And what uh, definitely looks like buko pandan. So I'm just gonna try some of it straight up. I'm sure you gotta mix some stuff in, but we'll see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. First thing to know, spicy. A little bit, not too crazy. Thank, Thank you. you. That's probably the fish. So it's very, very spicy. Making me hiccup spicy. Oh, no. Thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, we're definitely gonna have to stop back at the hotel after this, you're saying? I'm saying. I think you, that's what this is for, to mild the spice. It's definitely that like yogurty liquid that we've gotten in biryani before. It does mild the spice as soon as it hits my tongue. You have a lot of it, so you but, must need it. Yeah, I definitely need it. The, the flavor on that is delicious to say the least. My God, it's just completely coated and juicy as nuts. Very tender, very spicy. You're having trouble talking. Yeah, it's, my tongue is on fire. It's such an interesting looking thing. It almost has like a rending feel to it, almost like yeah, the Brownness. That's what I immediately thought of it right away. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with the bread. Now I'm just gonna dip into the sauce a tiny bit. Oh gosh, what if that is extra spicy? By the way, we don't know how much any of this cost. Yeah, he said the fish was like a hundred. Usually fish would be expensive, right? Something, okay. yeah. Biryani might be a few hundred. This, I have no idea. Let's see what the total comes out to. If it's a scam, we'll just yell, scam, scam, and then see if someone helps us. All right, let's see if I die. Oh, the sauce is very vegetable-y. Oh. It almost kind of reminds me of the flavor you'd get in a, like pani, pani puri, which is interesting because that doesn't look like it at all. So there must be some sort of ingredient that mixed in there. Pretty good. I don't know how much I'll be using it, because, but I can't tell if it's spicy. I thought it was spicy, but it could just be the chicken. I don't know. I'm dying, though. <laughs> Rice, orange one, yellow one, white one. This is my bread and my things. Wow, look at this rice. It's not the usual Indian rice. Yeah, but usually you have the basmati, basmati, basmati rice, and this is totally different. It looks like little eggs. Interesting. It kind of tastes like Uncle Ben's rice. They got Uncle Benny's here? Yeah. Uncle, Uncle Raj. All right, let's get some sauce. Put it in my ricey pan. Well, Kind of a tomatoey sauce. Ooh, it's, it's spicy too. I didn't get any spice at all, and then it just went instantly to the back of the girl. Kind of a tomatoey sauce. It's pretty good. It's a decent amount of spice, but not too bad for me. Move on to the yellow one, which maybe it's coconut. Coconut curry is usually yellow, right? Yeah, I think so. Coconut. Whoa. That is interesting. Not spicy at all. It's really interesting. I don't even know how to describe that. It's very, very mild. Like, very mild. It has a very slight, like, sweetness to it, kind of. Should I just loudly eat a cracker behind oh. the camera? Yeah, you should. And this, I don't even know what the heck it is. It, it, it smells like it's sweet, kind of. That is the dessert, for sure. And I got some kind of coconut in there already. No, I that is super sweet. It's a really delicious. It's kind of like a sugared up milk a bit, like a pudding, kind of. It's really delicious. I don't know how to even eat this. Like, am I just supposed this to- This just devour it with his hand, just like mixing everything together, too, like. This is probably so spicy, right? This red stuff. It looks kind of the same as this one. Yeah. Oh, weird. Spicy? I'm guessing that's not the same. 
Yeah, probably not. It had a weird, like, oh my gosh. It had a weird, like, vegetable flavor, because I thought it was the same, but my whole mouth is, like, on fire now. Wow. Wow, that's very spicy. And it's not this spice. This one's my tongue. It's attacking different areas. They're trying to kill us here, I think. Everybody's getting this, so I wonder what the heck this is. And I don't know what this stuff is either. Onion? Potato? Do I literally, literally just supposed to mix everything together? Like, that's legit. I don't know what I'm doing. We're not pro at this. We needed a guide to tell us everything. What is this? Feel good? Yep. Frag it. I'll just mix it all together. I don't even care anymore. I'm just going for it, guys. I'm making my own biryani. If that guy makes it all together, I'm also mixing it all together. Because that guy's a fracking mad lad. Well, it seems impossible that it wouldn't get mixed. Yeah, because the ingredients aren't like things that you eat with a rice necessarily. I'll put a tiny bit of this fire sauce in there just to make my day worse. And then I guess I'll just start whopping in this stuff. What the heck is that? Guys, we've never, we've been to India but we've never got like tallies really before. You got one in Dubai, but it was totally different. It was a bread one. Yeah. This one's a rice one, so we don't know how to do this. And I'm eating it with a fork and a spoon, which is totally illegal. It's a disrespect. I know. It Sorry. tastes better. It does taste better. I'm just doing this for texture. Because maybe it, maybe that's why it would come with the rice. It seems like it would be good in the rice. Yeah. So, I mean, look at this. And now you made like a little sandwich. And this has to be way better than what I just ate. I right, need more of this. Let's get that in there. Let's get more of this stuff, even though it's kind of weird. Just mixing everything. I'm just going for it. The I'm just flavor making conglomerate it. here. Just making something beautiful. Got a monopoly on flavor. I have controlled the flavor marketing uh, coach here right now. Here we go. Wow. It's pretty solid. There's so much going on. And it's so much different than all the, some of the other like biryani or curry things we've gotten from other parts of India. It's like it's totally different flavors. It has more like sweet, fruity flavors in there, kind of. And then with the spicy and the vegetable-y and the normal which which solid spices. Which I makes sense if, they're, if it's more rainy down here yeah. and more fruits and vegetables. This one's kind of, it's not sweet, the yellow one, but it's like kind of sweet. I don't know. This is so interesting and so good. Who would have thunk it? See if we can unveil our fish now. It's like upside down. Oh no. Oh my god. Man. That is jowls. That's gotta be spicy, right? It looks like yeah. the same sauce as yours. It is, but it's got way more. Alright, there's only one place to go now. Alright. The fish. It's not spicy. Unless it's gonna. It's kind of like a rendang y flavor. Like it has that, like, I don't know how you describe rendang. But it has like that. Dang good, that's all I know. Yeah, it's dang good. It has like the pasty, like chunky pastiness to it. It's a little spicy in the back of the throat, but not like, not even close to that. Not even close. I don't think it's, it's not really, it's not really growing like anything we've eaten either. It's not like the spicy potatoes or anything at Perfect Good Nation. Wow, what a Kerala meal we got here. Uh, an array of things we still don't know what they are. Welcome to our adventure. Yeah. Oh my nuts. It tastes really, really, really fracking good. I'm dying still. <laughs> well, it's worse than before. Just do it, dude. What are you doing over there, pal? Uh, nothing. I'm just on the food digest. We had, <laughs> we had to come back here just in case we need to do guria because that's how Indian food has been treating us. In our last few videos, we tried some dosa and some barbecue nation. That hit us like a train, a truck, any other heavy machinery vehicle that Tank. you can imagine. M55 Warthog. <laughs> I don't know, I made that up. I don't even know if that's an actual thing. A warthog from Halo. Uh-huh. <laughs> Keep going. Uh, Banshee. Yeah. Uh, Scorpion. Can't think of any other games right now either. Nope. We're gonna get something a to Toyota settle this. Toyota Corolla. We're gonna get something to settle this down with. And what better thing than a good old blaster? All right, let's order some room service then. Hey, can I get the lossy please? What the heck did you hear? That, that was really long. We filmed 10 more to 
before, but the mic cord was still plugged in, and uh, so there's no it, audio. Yeah, it cut out all the audio. Here, you can watch it um, without audio right here. Uh, that was epic. That was really cool. Alright, well, let's see. We tried to get culture too, but I think, um, maybe it's coming later. Hopefully I didn't shine for a culture right there. It wasn't on there, I don't okay. think. Oh, it's a Ferrati. Let's see if we can get to some better light. Hotel Lasser. Mm. Wow, it's wow. really sour. That's very different than the one I got the other day. The orange latte. This one's really sour. You'd expect orange latte to be sour. It tastes a lot more like a yogurt. It's like a yogurt drink. The latte so far that we've gotten has been really, or that you've gotten, and then this one is really liquidy. Yeah, it's much more frothy and liquidy. But some of the other ones we've gotten before have been very thick daddies. So what's the normal version? This or thick daddy? We could have gotten salted too. Let's do that. Just kidding, we don't like salted latte at all, I'm sorry. If you want to we'll go watch our first time eating Indian food in Dubai and you'll see us trying it. I feel the the Perobactylomus basilicus binding with the masala spices to quench them and fix my stomach blinding. Are you just saying like weird doom terms right there? No, I'm using science terms. I know my bacteria, dude. Iridocyclitis. <laughs>